Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So as I said in the last video, in Git we often create separate branches to implement single features. But in a real app we of course usually at some point need all of those changes we made in those single branches and have them on a single branch. So if we have five branches that all implemented a single feature, then at some point we need all of those features on our master branch. For example, when we want to release our app, we need all of those changes from our separate branches on a single branch. So how can we actually take the changes from one branch and get those changes on another branch? The answer is called merging. So we merge one branch into another. And let's actually do that because if we take a look in our version control tab here, in the log tab, then you can see we have our experimental commit here that we are currently in, so make sure you're currently in that experimental commit and check that out. But what you can also see is that this experimental commit is not contained in our master branch, which you can easily see at that green thing here that tells us master. This is on another commit than this yellow thing and those other two green things because we still have our YouTube branch we're currently in and that YouTube branch is on the same level as our experimental branch, which you can see that all of those things here, those banners or what that is, are on the same commit, but not our master branch banner. So how can we actually get those changes we made on that experimental branch or on that YouTube branch we're currently in and merge those changes into our master branch so our master branch is basically up to date? And this time I want to show you that from Android Studio first, so not from the command line, because this is much more intuitive in my opinion and really helps you to understand all that merging process. So first of all, take a look at our code. Here we have three print line statements. And if we now check out our master branch by going to the bottom right corner here, clicking on master and then check out, then we switch to the master branch and you can see here we only have a single print line statement. So what we want here is we want to get the two other print line statements that are not contained on our master branch and merge them into our master branch so we also have them here. And in Android Studio we can do that from the VCS tab up here. Click on that, go to Git and click on Merge Changes. And really make sure that you're currently in the branch you want to merge the changes into. So we are currently on the master branch. Click on Merge Changes and here you can see we have two branches to choose from. So we can either merge the changes from our experimental branch or from our YouTube branch into our master branch. And I'll choose YouTube branch because that was the branch we were, we were in before. And the rest can be ignored for now. And now we click on Merge and then you can see the changes from our YouTube branch are now inside of our master branch. So now we are inside of our master branch and we have the changes from our YouTube branch. And you can also see that in the version control tab here. Now we have our experimental commit and it's basically up to date with our master branch. But why are so many people actually so afraid of merging that changes? Because like you really often hear that, that this is one of the most complicated features for some people in Git. But it's actually not that complicated, but I understand that anxiety because you can really fuck up your project with that. So what we did right here was very easy. That was a very simple merge. But let's imagine we change the same line on our master branch and the same line on our experimental branch or on our YouTube branch. And we would then merge our YouTube branch into our master branch. How would Git then know which line we want to keep because both lines were basically changed. And what Android Studio did here when we used that default merging strategy, it will just take the changes from the merge we are merging into and basically add them to our master branch. So if we would have a line changed in our YouTube branch, but the same line wasn't changed in our master branch, then it would just override them. But it can't tell which line to keep if the line was changed in both branches. So let's actually change a print line statement here. For example, that experimental, we change that to change one. We're currently in the master branch and we commit our changes and call that commit change one commit. Click on commit. Then we switch to our YouTube branch again. So bottom right corner, YouTube branch, check out. 
And here you can see we still have that experimental line, of course, because we committed that line in the master branch. And here what we will do is we will change that to change to. So a different line than from the master branch. Commit this again, this time on the YouTube branch. Call this change to commit. Click on commit. And I can also see here in the version control tab that we have our change one commit, which is on our master branch, and our change two commit, which is on our YouTube branch. So those are two different commits, of course. And now we want to merge that YouTube branch into our master branch. To do that, we need to go into the branch we want to merge something into, so our master branch. Click on checkout. And now we go to the VCS tab again, go to git and merge our changes. Now we can select the YouTube branch here to merge the changes from our YouTube branch into the master branch now. Click on merge and you will see, oh, we have a conflict. And this is what people really mean when they talk about that they are afraid of merging their changes. So what Git will do now is it will take all of those lines that were changed on both branches, so where it doesn't know how to merge them together, show them to us and we need to decide now which changes we want to keep. So which changes we want to have on our master branch. And to do that we click on merge here and then you can see a window opens up with three editor tabs basically. And you can see the editor tab in the middle is our result tab. So that is how our master branch currently looks. And on the left side we have the changes for master. So those lines we changed in the master branch, our change one line here. And we have on the right side our changes from our YouTube branch, so our change two line. And now we need to decide which changes we keep. So in the middle we currently only have the, that experimental line. And let's say we want to keep the changes from our master branch. What we can then do is we can click on that little arrow here. So it will apply those changes to our result, to our master branch. And if we would now click on apply here, then we would have resolved that merge conflict and it would take the changes from our master branch. And that is basically how our master branch will look afterwards. But if you don't want that change one here, then you can simply press Ctrl and Z to undo that. And also do the same for our change two here. So if you want the changes from our YouTube branch, we click on that arrow instead, apply those changes to that result here. And yeah, then we basically have the changes from our YouTube branch. But what is also possible is to just have both changes. If we now click on this arrow here, then you can see we have both changes in our master branch. But I'll undo that again. And let's say for now we only want the changes from our YouTube branch, because otherwise the merging wouldn't make any sense in this case. But of course in a real project you usually have much more of these merge conflicts. This is just a single one here. And of course in a real project this is also not that easy to decide every time. Because let's say you accept that change one here and that somehow it doesn't work with the other code in the master branch and you don't know that at that moment here, then this can really break your project and that is the real reason why so many people are afraid of merging. And I remember once we had a software project in university and we worked with nine people on that project and every person basically had its own branch there. So for the feature the person was currently developing, for example, the upload file branch, that was a little social network we did there. And at some point, you will get to the point where you have to merge your changes. Because we had a real customer there in that project, that was a really cool project. And of course the customer wanted to see the project state. And for that we needed to merge all of our changes. And you can imagine how that is in a software project with thousands of lines of code and with nine people where nobody wanted to do that. Nobody wanted to merge the changes because nobody wanted to be responsible if he basically fucked up the project with those merge conflicts here. So we ended up doing that somehow together. And I remember we fucked up so hard with our project that we <laughs> basically deleted all of our changes from our single branches with those merge conflicts. I don't even know now what we did there, but basically nothing worked and we fucked up our own project. But still we could recover that with Git. So even if that happens to you, 
Git is such a good software that you can, even if you fuck up with Git, you can still recover your changes. So that's just a little story from my hand, why people are so afraid of merge conflicts. I can really understand that, but it's still something you need to know if you work with Git. And if you get used to it, it's not that hard anymore. And all your changes are always safe with Git. But yeah, let's get back to our merge conflict here. Now that is not that hard to solve, luckily. And we now apply the change from our YouTube branch. So we take the change two line in our master branch and not the change one line. If we don't want the change one line, we need to click on that little X here to ignore that basically. And then you can see all changes have been processed. And that means we can now finish the merging process by clicking on apply. Let's do that. And you can see if we are on our master branch, we are we now have that change two line here. And here you can also see what Git does behind the scenes. It created a commit here where we merge our branch. So it just basically included all of those lines from our one branch into this master branch and just committed that. That is how Git manages this. And that is already the whole magic of merging. Let's actually see how we can do the same from the command line. As promised, let's switch to our YouTube branch again. Click on checkout here and simply add a print line statement here. This line will be merged. And then we go to our terminal here. Actually, we commit our changes first, of course. Um, let's call this, I don't know, change three commit. Doesn't matter. Click on commit. And then we go to our terminal here. Clear that up. Use git checkout master to switch to our master branch. You can see that worked. And now that we're inside of our master branch and we want to merge another branch into this master branch, we just use git merge followed by the name of the branch we want to merge into this master branch. So that is our YouTube branch. Click on enter and you can see the merge was made. And if we now click into our editor tab here, you can see here's our line, this line will be merged. And there were no conflicts, of course, because we just added a single line and didn't change um, the same line on both branches. And you can also see that the merge was made with a recursive strategy. I personally don't know that much about those strategies, but that is just basically a rule for Git to decide how to resolve merge, con merge conflicts because they can appear much more often. But for Android Studio, the rule is basically if we set that to default that our line on the master branch was not changed and the line was changed on the other branch, then we will just take the new changes. Only if both lines were changed, then there will be a merge conflict basically. But this is somehow another strategy here. You can find so much about that in the internet, but I also never really needed those strategies in detail. Just know that they somehow decide how merge conflicts will be automatically resolved by Git. But let's actually get to the scary part Let's create a merge conflict inside of our master branch right now. We change this change two line to change three. Commit those changes. Let's do this this time from the command line. Git commit and attach a message here. Um, change, we already have that I think. I don't know, just final merge change one. Press enter. And we forgot to add that file. We first write git add and a dot after that, and then we can commit them afterwards. You can see now that worked. Now let's switch to our YouTube branch. Check out YouTube branch, press enter. Oh, of course, git check out YouTube branch. Now we switch to YouTube branch and we can make another change here in that line. So change four commit that line, first add that file, git add dot, and write git commit minus m, and call that final merge change two. Press enter, commit those files, and now if we merge that, this YouTube branch into our master branch, we will have a merge conflict. So let's actually clear that up and switch back to our master branch, git checkout master, and if we now write git merge and we want to merge our YouTube branch into our master branch, press enter, you can see we have a conflict. 
and we need to fix our conflicts and then commit the result. So that is basically what we need to do here. And if you now click into our editor tab, you can see that Git marked that merge conflict basically. So the line, it's not sure about which version to choose from. So we can either choose this version that changed three line or that changed four line or just both of these lines. Let's choose the, uh, the change four line and we can simply remove the rest here, delete that, delete that, and now simply commit the changes as git set. So git commit, and we have to add that first, git add dot, and then git commit m um, merged YouTube branch into master. And press enter. And then you can see we merged the YouTube branch into YouTube branch into master. So yes, that was already the whole magic of merging. If this was understandable for you, please tell me below and also leave a like. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because 53% of those who watch my videos haven't even subscribed to me. It's just a single click and you will get regular Android content every second day as usual. Have a nice day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.